Hey, welcome. This is Joe from the Cell Phone Geek. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, use this new video USB to RCA and S video. <coughs> Pardon me. So hook up to your VCR here, as I have here, old VCR, VHS player. It's got four heads. And hook it up to my computer here, so I can take all of my VHS uh, home movies and put them on my computer here, and then burn them onto a DVD. So we're, first, I'm going to start with the unboxing of this. It's uh, it's the Easy Tap video. You can buy it on eBay or Amazon. I I think it was like 30 bucks. Uh, actually, pretty cheap compared. To, like if you walk into Walmart, it's a lot more than that. If you look here on the back, you can hook it to your laptop or desktop because just USB toggle, and then it's got the ports on it for RCA and S video. Uh, very easy to use. It only needs USB 2.0. Sorry for the uh, little bit of blurriness in the text. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do an open box here. And I'm going to show you uh, what it looks like here. So I'm go ahead here and open it up for you. Real simple, it's just a box here. There's a bunch of stuff in it. As you can see, a little foam here. Here's the actual adapter here. It's got USB on one end and the RCA jacks uh, female. So you just plug in the RCA cables there. You also have your software disk and also a manual here. So uh, usually they tell you to run the software first here. I'm looking to see if that's what it's telling me to do. Then insert the CD, install it, and then connect the video USB adapter, and then install or open the Showbiz 3.5 software to capture video and audio programs into your computer. So that's pretty much everything that's in the box there. The actual cable itself, the CD software manual, and then a little bit of foam here to protect it. All right. Uh, so here I'll show you what to do with the software here. So I'm going to switch over to uh, my screen. Cell phone geek here. I'm going to install the software now, the drivers, <coughs> pardon me, for the uh, capture card, video capture card here. As you can see, this is the next step that comes up. First, I want to go ahead and hit install driver. Let that go. I have to allow it here because I have a firewall. And of course, I'm doing English. <coughs> Pardon me, I'm sorry about that. Alright, install. Alright, it's installing. Always in trust, so I'm gonna hit install on that. So now it should install that. All right, I'm gonna all right and successfully install. Hit finish. Go and go ahead and install the Showbiz 3.5, which is the actual software, so I can see whatever is coming through this device. So I'm gonna hit OK through the video capture device. So it's going to install, I'm going to hit next, yes, I agree to the terms, username, I'm just going to type in Joe, license key is on the back of the CD uh, case, so I'm going to go ahead and pause it here, let me punch in the product. Alright, when you punch in the product key, make sure you put in the dashes, there should be two dashes, it's three sets of numbers with two dashes, make sure you punch in the dashes, otherwise it won't work. That's what it did to me. All right, go ahead and select the destination folder. By default, most of you will probably just use C, but I am not doing it currently that way. So I have to change it to E. All right, I have that set. Hit OK. Next. All right, leave that and hit Next. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, so now it's installing the software here, so we can view anything that comes to this video capture card. Which it doesn't have to be in our uh, VCR. 
It can be a uh, video camera, like an old school video camera. It could be your Xbox, which I know is not the best quality, but at least you can record your Xbox to your t to your computer. I'm talking about Xbox 360. Obviously, you want to do HDMI if you can. But uh, this is a cheap way where you can record your games and then upload them online if you'd like onto YouTube or wherever. Uh, you can also hook up your DVD player to this, and you can, um, I guess, save move your DVDs onto your computer. Um, I don't really see the point of that, but because you can just pop it in your DVD drive on your computer, unless your computer doesn't have a DVD drive. You can even watch movies that way if you want. Pull your DVDs through this device to watch your movies. Alright, so go ahead and hit finish. And that is all installed. So now I'm going to go ahead and go back and then I'm going to hit exit on that. I'm going to go ahead and show you what to do next uh, with hooking up all the wires. Alright, so next thing you want to do is just match up the colors. So you get yellow, white, and red. Yellow is for picture, which sends all the colors through. Red is right, and white is left. So go ahead and you got to make sure you put them in the right ones here, because you want to do video out, not video in. And on mine, video out is this last one here, so I'm going to go ahead and plug in all these cables. Set this down here. All right, then you gotta take your adapter here and plug it into an open USB port. Go ahead and plug it in one of my open USB ports here. All right, so that's plugged in, and the software on the computer screen is gonna start loading and say we found new software or found new hardware. Excuse me. And then I'm gonna go ahead and plug all these colors into each other. So like the yellow with yellow. Here's a picture, white with white, sorry for the shakiness, I'm trying to plug these in here with only two hands, and then red with red. Try to get these cords here from all tangling up into each other. Alright, let that sit. Alright, so that's... Got it all plugged in there, crazy wires, everything's plugged into the back here, everything's plugged into there. So now my VCR is all hooked up here. Alright, so I'm going to go back to the computer and I'll show you what to do next. Alright, hey, this is Joe. We are back here. We are. I'm going to show you now, once you've uh, plugged it, everything in, now it's time to start up the software, which is right here. It's called ArcSoft Showbiz. That's my virus program. You can just ignore that. And here, this is here. It says Capture, Edit, or Produce. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Capture. <coughs> Pardon me. And then it says Source. Hit a down arrow and click on the SMI Grabber device. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my. VCR here, and we should get an image here on the screen. I hit refresh. So far, I'm not seeing anything. Set so on composite video. MP2 is just not the best quality, but that's alright. Device settings, let's see. Can change the brightness and all that. For some reason I'm not currently getting a picture. I'm going to double check all my wires here, but they should be all plugged in correctly, which they are. I believe I should get a blue screen, but I could be wrong. When I unplug it... Okay, it's nothing. When I plug it in here...
it like changes the picture here. Unless I don't, maybe my cord's bad. My RCA cables could be bad. Well, it should show up anyways. Uh, I'll have to figure that out. But it should show up and show you uh, whatever the VCR is putting out. It should show you on the computer screen here in this window. And once you do, once you got it going, you could just hit capture, and then uh, it will uh, start recording. And then you just hit the capture button again, and it'll stop recording. And then it goes out of there, and then you can edit it here as needed. And you've got uh, your own videos from tapes or whatever. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and uh, drop any comments you uh, have or concerns. Uh, but it's really that simple. It shouldn't take you very long to set up. And uh, it should be a great uh, program here and uh, hardware and software. All right, so thanks for watching. Have a great day.